What's up guys, welcome to another Jake's Cover editorial on the uh, Eden Editor in Alma 3. Um, this episode we're going to worry about setting up Zeus. Um, like I said before, the missions I like to make is your multiplayer co-op missions with Zeus enabled because I just find Zeus is so much nicer than your generic AI or mission controlled uh, because Zeus can yeah, it's just way more flexible anyway that's my preference so how do we set up Zeus for your mission we're gonna go F5 or you're gonna click on the systems and modules and you're gonna open Zeus at the bottom the first one you're gonna place is Game Master now what I normally like to do is I will go to some corner of the map where I can't by accident move it or uh, delete it or anything like that when I'm editing other stuff so it's just better this way in general now you will say the mo see the module this is game master module curator double click on it what I like to do the person that's gonna Zeus I'm gonna name the module Jake's Cobra uh, oh I can't spell my own name and now if I go over that all that module you will say game master Jake's Cobra the reason why I do that a lot of my missions have more than one Zeus enabled the reason for that is maybe I can experience technical difficulties or whatever and I don't want the whole mission to flop or just to go down the drain because I have technical issues or connection issues so there's always a backup Zeus and sometimes the missions are so big um, We've got three sections running in our unit so you want more than one Zeus to be able to help out now to get don't leave this owner and name open name I normally just put Zeus okay now owner what you do by owner is you enter your armor 3 steam ID or player ID if you don't know where to get that uh, let's save this uh, file quickly all you do is save um, scenario saved so what I want to do if to get my ID obviously I'm gonna blank mine out because I don't want people to try and hack mine the easiest way to get it is just go on your profiles which here is Jake's Cobra go to units go to edit and click on a little drop down say custom there in that line which is obviously now blanked out uh, is your steam id for armor 3 then you can just discard cancel go out i just copied mine over going back into the editor going back into molden and we just open our little mission file um, or just save it on a little text document or something like that so you can just copy it over we can open it um there we go i think that's the one we're busy with now it doesn't give it yet yeah, there we go so what we're going to do now we're going to move over to our game master double click on it again and you're going to paste in your steam id that way only you or only the person's id you've put in there is the one that will be able to access Zeus so let's go test this out quickly play in multiplayer okay don't worry about that too much now I'll get to that part in later scenarios I just want to show you that it works and if I press Y there we go I'm in Zeus so now I'm able to place whatever and control whatever so Zeus is working and if you leave those things blank it just might be that anybody can jump into Zeus before you you are able to get into Zeus and that just might mess up the fun for everybody now with the Zeus module I like to play something else and that is go to Zeus again add edible objects okay and what this does um, it adds objects to the Zeus interface that Zeus can edit this includes um, 
soldiers and that kind of stuff the, the reason why I like doing this is because you can have it to a specific Zeus if you want to I just leave it like that and uh, why you want to do that if pl new players spawn in they're not naturally part of the Zeus interface and you wouldn't know who they are and they won't show up in your map <coughs> um, so yeah this automatically adds them to your Zeus <coughs> oh apologies so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go to my Zeus module right click on it sync to and left click on the add curate the ad edible objects now if there's anything in a map uh, like soldiers and stuff plays through the editor once we play it they will be automatically be added to my Zeus interface um, later on I can make some Zeus videos if you want to just to show you how that works but people that know a little bit how Zeus works they definitely want this to be done so you're gonna edit your Zeus module put in your ID uh, like I said name I normally just put Zeus um, and then also sync it to the add edible objects you leave it as is just sync to that okay now the only problem with this the way we've put it up now is when you go into Zeus people might get a notification that somebody is using and who is using might come up on the screen um, there is a way to get around that which is a little script uh, you can put in the init uh, area of the module just to make sure people don't get told okay Jake's Cobra has gone into Zeus now um, and also you probably know that there's normally if people in Zeus there's like a Zeus eagle flying around in the area where Zeus is or where he's looking at um, you can actually disable that through the init field as well if you're interested in knowing how to do that I can always make a short video just to show you the script that's supposed to go in it just put it in the comments down below if you want to see that but this is the basic way of setting up Zeus like I said we can test it again and um, you will see I've got full Zeus access um, you can limit Zeus and all those things but why um, so yeah um, full Zeus access it works 100% guys that's it for this video uh, like I said very short and sweet I'm gonna keep my videos simple as simple as possible so that anybody even if they first time view uh, users of the editor can know how to use this um, that's it that's how you set up Zeus game master module I like to name it the reason why I like to name it is let's say you want your second Zeus you might put another game master module and I want that one to be synced to John and I'm gonna put owner and Zeus again his IP address and what what and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sync it to the same curator module you can only put one add edible objects module down you can't put multiples of those down they might cause the server crash so what we do if you want two Zeus's that's how you do it both of these people will have access as long as you put in the owner ID um, both of these people will be able to go into Zeus at the same time and you can do quite a few of them if you want to just remember to sync them all to your same add edible objects module guys any questions just pop them down below in the comment section I hope this was helpful I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Remember if you're first time viewer, bash the subscribe button, bash the like button if this was helpful. Cheers guys, enjoy, see you in the next one.